It's a beautiful morning here in Israel. No thanks to Iran or Hezbollah or any of the other people that think it's necessary to try to illumin illuminate, eliminate us, but illuminate our skies with ballistic missiles. Crazy week. Lots of things in the news. And of course, the culmination of, of this this week, last night, with Iran's barrage of rockets. Hundreds of rockets flying through the sky, moving at incredible speeds. I think they said it was like less than 20 minutes. 1,200 miles in 20 minutes. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and let everybody know that we're good. We're safe. Well, good is, I don't know if that's the right way of putting it. It was definitely scary. It was definitely, it's definitely worrisome now. Like, why would you do this? Why would you, as a country, as a leader, this makes no sense. There's no logic to any of this. The hatred is overwhelming. And there's going to be voices that are going to be speaking nonsense in these days about Israel. Even what other country, tell me what other country has gone through this in modern days, uh, having to fight off a barrage like this. Of These are humongous missiles. These things, there's uh, there's no reports yet, actually, no no official reports of what how many have, uh, have actually hit ground. A big piece of shrapnel fell in the city of Jericho, which is a Palestinian city, and landed over a person, and that's I think the only report of of a death. Uh, I don't know if there's any official reports yet. It's too early to know where the where there have been any strikes, most of these uh, missiles were intercepted. Over the last week, we've been busy working and um, partnering with organizations that help restore bomb shelters up north because that's a big need right now. Actually, the day after we went up there and um, actually helped uh, fix up this bomb shelter, it's a community bomb shelter for about 50 people. It's an apartment building with like 20, 30 apartments or something. And uh, up north, this is in the Galilee, there's a lot of bomb shelters like this. Most of the apartments don't have their own bomb shelters because these are older constructions. Only the apartments built from like 1990 something have um, rooms inside the house, the apartment that are uh, safe rooms. With Hezbollah firing more and more, in the north of Israel, there's a lot of these communities that are that don't feel safe because they don't have bomb shelters to run to, even though there is one in the building, but they've been using it as storage, like a community storage. They have all the kids' bikes there, and it's not clean, and it's not uh, like the lights not working. It, need, it needs help. So there's organizations that take care of these bomb shelters. They go in and volunteer to to clean it up, to fix it up, make sure that it's working, make sure these, they have these big um, vault style doors on them, big thick metal doors. Sometimes those get stuck and you can't even unlock them. So they'll go in and make sure that the, the door opens and closes and locks and, and you can stay in there for however long you need. And definitely the day after we went and did all this with this organization, um, these uh, the, this particular community was attacked and and the people were writing to us thanking us for the uh for the work that had been done and of course last night everybody the whole country if you look at the map there's an app that lets you know it's like amber alert but it's red alert over here there's an incoming rocket and the app will show you if uh, your location is in the path of that rocket even though they'll probably get intercepted but shrapnel may come down, so you're advised to go into your safe room. So the map, if you look at the map of, uh, of that app yesterday, it's covered north to south, completely covered. All of Israel is red because of the, the barrage last night. It was crazy. I was standing there looking. I didn't realize I was working till late. I had my headphones on. I didn't hear the sirens, and all of a sudden... I heard I heard something, so I go out to the there's, there's a big floor to ceiling window, and I go out there and I see just 
so I've seen missiles flying overhead and, and exploding somewhere in, in the direction of Tel Aviv. Anyway, all of this is to say that it is a crazy world. It's a crazy time, but we're still here. Tune in to hear more updates. There's definitely more stories coming. So tune in. I won't be here every day, but once or twice a week, I'll be posting on this channel. Come back and hear more stories about Israel. And don't forget to subscribe. That'll help.